All right, welcome. Uh, I'm Doug from the desert of Maine. We have a small campground next to our tourist attraction and we built six den cabins here. This is a cost breakdown video just to help you understand what are the total costs of building cabins, um, you know, not just buying it from den, but actually getting it built so you can rent them out. Uh, of course, your mileage may vary. So, I mean, we have two different models that we built. We built the Bunk Plus, which is the larger one. For us, this is targeted to families with young kids. And then we have a smaller kit, which is really for couples. And we built three of each. It was, we wanted to live with these cabins for an entire season, uh, learn how people use them, how they were booked before we made the next wave of investment. And so far, so good. These are obviously a more substantial investment. So we'll take you through the cost of building the Bunk Plus and then separately the smaller ones. All right, so one of the first things and we had to do is really get the ground ready for these cabins. And this is probably the biggest surprise for us is how much this cost. And it's a little bit uh, maybe unique to where we built these. Uh, the town of Freeport is um, by the books and if you look at the foundations that we put on these things, these, these are like foundations like built for a skyscraper, but um, so it's total overkill. That costs $9,500 to put in these huge concrete piers. And we did it during the winter, which was a tough time to do that. Um, but anyway, a very, very solid foundation. Uh, but yeah, $9,500. Then there's just general like grading this out and prepping the ground so we have good drainage, good, um, yeah, so the water running off these cabins has a place to go. We obviously put these on a nice flat pad with rocks and so that's a few thousand dollars. Um, the other thing you need to do on the ground, for us we decided to put flushing toilets in these cabins. Guess, well first of all it's a huge convenience to be able to not leave your cabin to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night and just to have that privacy and guests really prefer flushing toilets over composting toilets. I think by a wide margin. If you're selling like a really luxurious experience, you kind of got to go the extra mile. So we put septics, a septic system behind these cabins. You'll see the ground is slightly raised when we get back there. That was maybe $16,000, but it's a shared investment for all of the cabins we'll be building in this area of the campground. And when you break it down, it's maybe just $1,500 per cabin for that investment. So. Moving on to the materials costs, like one of the huge appeal of building a den cabin is you get almost everything you need and just put it together. And so the construction time is much shorter. But there's other stuff that you can make decisions about and add on to the project. So for us, like we added these railings, we put insulation under the roof just to keep it a little cooler in the summer. So it's a uh, foam insulation panels under the roof. And, um, you know, just throughout the cabin, um, there's a big deck in the back and just other furnishings inside that add to your materials cost. Uh, the, the cabin, it's, the kit itself costs $50,000. Um, and then when you add in the other stuff like the deck and the stairs and all of that other stuff, you maybe add another $5,000 for that stuff. So one of the things about the den cabins that I totally love is Everything is just really premium, which kind of goes with our, like what we're trying to achieve here is like we want people to feel like this is a luxurious premium experience. So like just for example, the doors, um, they're from Pella, windows too from Pella. So just top notch um, quality, the stuff's gonna last, it's not gonna leak, and you can just feel the quality when you're um, opening the door. So obviously, the basic frame comes with the kit, but we had to add, and um, you know, things like fixtures, toilet, furnishings. Um, furnishings for us added up to be about uh, $5,000. I think maybe six when you add in, when, when our uh, you know, deck furniture finally arrives in the next couple weeks, we got some really nice deck furniture. So maybe 6,000 for all that. You, can, you don't need to spend as much as we did on that stuff. Um, Lighting, like 
we, you get to make your own choices on lighting. So if you add that up and I actually don't have the cost of that by itself, but the lighting plus the electrician for us was another $5,000. So I'd say furnishing for us all together would be about 10 if you add lighting. Of course, you're adding in the labor for the electrician, so it's a little bit muddied there. Um, but yeah, for us to furnish these uh, and get them wired was about 10. Yeah, so I mean, even uh, some of the choices you get to make are like, well, what kind of bed do you put in this? And for us, we're trying to go for a very luxurious experience. So we got a, this very beautiful bed that just like um, fits together with no nails and screws. It's, but it's expensive, you could do that for less. The deck is another thing that's like that. Um, we wanted a, to really invite people outdoors, so we have this very spacious deck. The composite material, um, you know, that, that alone was like 1200 bucks. The railings are super premium, so another 1200 bucks. So that's all part of it, and things you could, if you're, if you're a contractor or handy, you could build that stuff for much cheaper than we did. All right, so one of the big components in building these cabins is labor. And for us, that's really three main things. It's general carpentry to put them together, plumbing and electrical. I already mentioned the electrical costs. Our carpentry, um, these are a bit harder to build, uh, quite actually, they're a lot harder to build than the smaller cabins. These took probably two weeks to, to put together. And, um, just a lot more finishing inside, a lot more work. So it was about $10,000 in, in general construction costs, labor, and then plumbing, there's not much to plumb here. It's just a few thousand dollars for that. So the all-in cost for us on this cabin was $94,000. Uh, they're 14 by 18. So if you do the math on that, the cost per square foot is 372 and hopefully that gives you an idea. You can certainly make different choices than we did and, and go up or down, but um, for something of this scale, that's roughly what it's gonna be. And now we'll show you what it costs to do the smaller cabin, which is quite a bit more economical. The cost breakdown for the smaller ones, quite a bit simpler. There's just less to do with these there. Um, but we start with all the common stuff out, outside and this surprisingly is quite similar to the other ones. Um, it's a little less uh, ground preparation, but still we put these on these massive piers. Instead of 6,500, it was more like $5,000 to buy the piers and then another 5,000 to, you know, do all the site work, the excavator time, all the gravel and drainage and all that stuff. So the, the kit itself was $30,000 and includes everything you need. We added a deck, but this is a much smaller deck, so it's only like a thousand bucks to build something like this. And really the kit had everything we need. I think we, we added Rockwell insulation, but that wasn't very much, 500 bucks, something like that. And um, yeah, really the rest of it is construction costs, but these went up in a few days as opposed to a few weeks. So uh, that cost us maybe $5,000 for that. Electrical was much simpler. Um, it took a day and that could be done for you know $2,000. And then there's no plumbing and furnishing is just less to furnish. Um, nonetheless, furnishing still cost us about you know four or 5,000 if you include everything like the outdoor furniture and all the linens and bedding and the bed itself, we went with a premium sort of bed, just like we did in the other one to give it a luxurious experience. But yeah, all that was like four, 4,000, 5,000 maybe. So our all-in cost for these smaller cabins was 52,000 per cabin. It's, they're 10 by 11, so if you do the math on that, it's like more like 473 cost per square foot but it's still a really great option for us. That's, you know, that's a high cost per square foot, but um, these are really desirable. They, they book out really nicely. And from a like total capital outlay, it allows us to like have a mix of options for guests in, 
um, to fit like what the size of their group is and um, so it's a really good option for us. We're new to like booking these out. I mean, these, we're just starting this, but uh, the smaller cabins have been um, available for booking with pretty bad photos. Uh, honestly, there's like snow in all the photos and they're, half of them are under construction and they're booking out like crazy this summer. Um, I think within a month, we'll be fully booked for the rest of the summer. They book right now for 125 during the weekdays, 200 during weekends, and it's a little extra on holiday weekends. We add a $25 cleaning fee, so it's kind of a, a wash. Doesn't matter if they come for a day or three days. Um, that just sort of covers our costs on cleaning. And um, yeah, I think we, we're, we expect to have these pay for themselves fully by you know somewhere between our second and third year. The uh, larger cabins, the Bunk Plus, those are right now, we really haven't listed those um, widely, um, but they're, they're booking for 225 on weekdays and 300 on weekends, and again, a little bit more on holidays. And it's very similar, we, the, the ROI for those cabins, similar you know, two to three years. Um, it's really like you, you have to plug in some assumptions about how, uh, you know, what your occupancy is. I think we'll be 100% occupied on those during the summer months, June, July, August. And then it just remains to be seen how well we do in those shoulder months of the season, like May, September, October, it starts to get pretty cold around here. Um, but yeah, that, that, would, that would accelerate our return on investment if we're able to um, have good occupancy during the shoulder parts of the season. So I hope this has been helpful. This is the sort of information we kind of wish we had at the beginning of our project. Some of the costs were a surprise to us, like how much money it was to like prep the ground for these cabins. And you may not have those expenses. We've seen these very cabins sit on skids. So a lot of these costs may be different for you. But um, anyway, we, we'd love for you to come out. Check them out yourself. If you're considering doing a den cabin build, you can see it firsthand. We've actually already received a lot of people who are considering their own den project. And we love talking about what we learned during the process just to help people, um, you know, go have a successful project on their own. We have links in the um, post about, or links down below for how you can book directly. And um, if you do come stay here and you're thinking about building a, a den cabin, make sure to reach out to us. You can text our main number and we'd love to give you um, all the details and answer any questions you have.